hello hello chat going directly into the game the game has actually begun i was not on time to post on my socials and uh, start the game on time so here we are directly into the game welcome to is this the first stream of 2024 i think probably not i have probably streamed before but uh, welcome back welcome back chat good to be back again uh, really sorry about uh, you know not uh, being able to enable chat i wish at least it was an emote only chat but we don't even have that so it's going to be a silent stream for uh, all of you only i get to talk which is probably usually the case in any case i think uh, now uh, i'm sh I'm not going to be able to read chat because the whole point of having this uh, silent uh, chat thing is due to anti cheating I think as far as I understand so I'm not going to be able to read chat during the games but in between the games maybe we can uh, do something I don't I don't think I I can uh, enable chat and disable chat in between the games but let's see let's see what is the way to figure things out and uh, i guess like everything else we will uh, get used to it so now what this can do is uh, it can potentially help me focus a bit better on my games because uh, i am very uh, i pay a lot of attention to chat and uh, I'm not sure what to play here. I could go queen e8, queen e7, queen to f7. I guess I can play queen e7. How do we continue now? We just take this out. Oh, I spent way too much time there. Fortunately, my opponent also seems to be playing a bit slow, but I did break one of the cardinal rules of blitz play, which is play fast. It's time to speed up. I want to get this bishop out into the game, but uh, how to do it without? If I play c6, I weaken uh, the d6 pawn. Honestly, this position feels like very little for black. Cool. Next week, I'm looking at At least now we have got the pieces out into the game. He can trade queen even. Feels like the kind of opponent who seems uh, happy with a draw from what I can see. Or uh, a less direct way of saying that would be uh, not a very ambitious opponent. I should have played faster in the beginning. That's a regret. Now queen even I can just play rook f6. Otherwise uh, we just keep making moves. That's one of the things about blitz, you know, you just keep making moves fast and uh, generally the opponents do tend to get cooperative over time. My opponent also quickening his pace a bit. Why I didn't play bishop g4? Probably because... Oh, we need to watch out for some F4 stuff. We have Rook C5. 
save square it's preparing for out just confusing him a bit a4 is oppositional throw b5 I can go on. This is what I thought he might play here. So who can get that? Let's take this first. Just to get that out of the window. Make space for a rook. Oh, this is not a bad motor. I fell into that one. I should have taken the bishop to d7. Certainly underestimated my opponent. It's a big mistake. Try and focus a bit better. I keep missing moves of my opponent. The kind of moves which is right in front of my eyes. Did miss that for a second, I think. Yeah, he's not going to mess this one up. Seems to have enough fluency to be able to convert this position. Wow, <laughs> crazy, crazy draw there. Crazy escape. It was such a bad play by my opponent beyond a point. But uh, this was terrible by me. I had a, such a fine position, such a normal position and I underestimated him so badly. Queen had six, such a disaster. And how could I play bishop d7 walking straight into c5? And then again, walking straight into this rook e6. Like, literally, he was playing for this one idea with rook e5. But cool. In the end, we somehow saved it. Horrible, horrible, horrible game. Alright, it's time to start some music. On the stream. We have some music and uh, let me uh, open up the chat now before the game and then uh, during the game I'll disable the chat. So we have the chat open now just for a brief while. I'll uh, 
disable it when the next game starts so what's up chat are you here have i uh, posted everywhere let me get the link up on all the different socials including my insta channel as well Hey everyone, back to streaming after a while. But uh, live chat due to chess dot coms new FTP. Here's the link. Hey Akash, hey guys, hello everyone. I'm also on a 10-10 second delay, and the next game has started. Let me turn off the chat again, and here we go. This is hopefully going to be my first win of the event. I don't, I don't like this. I should have started with B3. I think it's a pretty aggressive way for uh, White to begin, though. But okay, let's just play reverse Benoni. What's wrong in that? I've done quite a bit of Benoni as black, so nothing wrong in doing a bit of reverse Benoni. Can I, can I, can I, can I, can I play B4? Ship takes B4. I can't take on E5. So I just go A3 here. My knight D2. This is just the exact reverse of the game. Which usually gets worse for black, by the way. But uh, usually people are. Uh, First of all, he's had to have played some uh, d4 to know this well. And uh, secondly, giving people problems like this, where they have to solve uh, problems in positions which they are not familiar with, is part of the. You know, it's part of the way of making them, provoking them into making mistakes. I don't know if I should have played H3 here. But since I did, might as well play G4. Take control of this F5 squad. He could play A4, then I go for C2. One thing is I'm keeping up my pace. Now I have an option. I can start with G5 and then go Knight E4. At with my default, which I like a bit more. Ah, he wants B5 now. Okay, I'll play C2. The spawn structure though should really not favor me. I'm just trying to experiment a bit with my style expected this should be 7 ideally i need to back this up with b4 but we don't have time and black is going to play b4 if we let's bring our bishop into the game a4 Bishop, uh, it's a bit of a menial task for the bishop, but I think uh, it's okay for now. Sometimes we all need to chip in. Everyone needs to work. Let's 
Wait to FP. Now this night could be coming to D5, I guess. And then later to F4. This is his plan. As white, our uh, task should be to try and protect this pawn first and foremost. And so far, this bishop is the best placed piece to protect it. Becomes knight of four, which is going knight g2. Or do we? Knight g2, there is f5. And then I think we are losing a piece. Yeah, we are losing a piece. a bit of a predicament because so we do need to get knight g2 in sure if you are losing a piece though i doubt if you are losing a piece Oh, I think we are losing a piece. So, only playing to G3. So, F has discretion in the future and we want to manage it. Oh yeah, I take G2 base. Ah, okay, he also saw this. Take this here. Yeah. Didn't have enough time to evaluate that one. I had a feeling that it might confuse him. I think it did. A quick shot on time. I handle that part here because he has a yeah, H pass. Tricky though. Okay, I see the win. Yeah, if you had. Oh, it's not so simple, yeah? I thought this is winning. Because I just go king c3, king b4 and take this. Yeah, yeah, it should be. It takes a while for the computer to see it. So that's our first win of the day. Hardly a convincing win. But uh, let me allow some more uh, chat. So uh, for those who are just joining in, welcome everyone. 
टुडे वी आर कंप्लाइंग विद द न्यू चैट डॉट कॉम फायर प्ले रेगुलेशन आई एम नॉट श्योर इफ इट्स अ न्यू थिंग आई थिंक इट वॉज इन प्ले अर्ली ऑन अर्लियर लास्ट ईयर बट इट्स इट्स बींग मोर एनफोर्स नाउ आई थिंक सो द न्यू चैट डिकटेट्स द न्यू रूल डिकटेट्स दट दज नो लाइव चैट फॉर फायर प्ले रेगुलेशन so it's going to be restricted chat from now on for now i'm starting to just switch on the chat in between the games and then turn it off during the games but as we go forward i think we are going to have uh, less chat overall and uh, i'm at one and a half out of two <laughs> blame grammy for this oh mods can turn on uh, chat on and off too is it so do it anshika you can turn it off in between uh, the game and uh, you can turn it on after the game ends i think that should uh, work with the chess com fair play regulations apart from that uh, yeah there's also a 10 second delay but uh, as far as you are concerned there's no delay we don't need to pretend that there's a delay we'll also be looking at uh, the tata steel games okay the next game has started so i'm going to turn off chat in the 10 seconds that uh, we have and uh, okay anshika you want me to promote you can paste your uh, twitter credentials i mean twitter link on now come chat all right chat uh, game 3 round 3 WhatsApp WhatsApp everyone how's your uh, new year going so far my new year has been going pretty decent so far i am uh, done with a good part of my upcoming chessable course and uh, february is going to be an interesting month because uh, that's the month when my next chessable course is set to be out and that's also the month when i uh, turn just a little bit older not much but uh, yeah just a little bit older and uh, last year i had to wait about 6 months to play my first tournament this year it might happen only uh, in the second month which tournament is still a surprise and uh, which uh, date which tournament when is it all of it is still long not something i can mention outside yet yeah i can go bishop c4 here he goes bishop g3 i don't think we have a lot to gain there b takes e4 is one option something feels off with how he's playing but i don't know how to I think let's just go for uh, simple stuff. This is a risky, no? Why not just bishop e6 here? Like just simple stuff. I felt this was risky because after e takes d5, ah okay, he also loses the h4 knight. So I could have yeah started with bishop. But now I can't go d4, right? Takes takes I'm in time with Bishop C4. When you want to get off the darkest ground, the gravity pulls you straight down. We ah, okay, he just takes it. Expect that. The way he's playing feels so 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 off, so wrong. But I spent uh, way too much time just trying to punish what he did. Look at this. 
you can't play chess like this without developing it. I mean, you can if you're uh, okay with losing like uh, okay with losing in general. It is casual. Simple. And then once my rook gets to d8, he'll have no way to defend d2. Probably defend with rook d1. Should be able to take an f3. He's really daring me to checkmate him. Playing like this in a classical game is sure death. In a blitz game, uh, I need. Uh, I just don't have time to be accurate. Something has to be here. Oh, I can just take the rook. Hmm? Just take the rook and his rook on even is hanging. The queen g1, I think my queen comfortably comes. In. Yeah, this is winning. Is completely winning. It's time to go after this king. Such bad play by him, though. I blundered my bishop, but it's okay. Yeah. Who cares? Switched off for a second. I just still even think okay, then. It's easy It was pretty weak play by Switch on the live chat back And uh, how do you promote this mod? Remove a standard moderator and as moderator as a managing moderator. Cool. Cool. So now I hope Anshika can uh, turn on the chat on and off. How is it going in the title Tuesday? What are the standings 
Hikaru is there at the top, 3 out of 3. So is Agireza. And uh, we also switch on the chant here. This feels weird though, doing this without chant. And uh, also with the small delay. To be honest, if there is a delay, then I don't, I don't see why we need to switch off the chat. But okay, it's what it is, and if it helps with fair play, then so be it. But yeah, hi, 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 Bago. Hello, Sumit. Hello, Akash. What's up, guys? Welcome again to this Tidal Tuesday stream. Three rounds are over. I have two and a half out of three. And uh, yeah, I promoted you, Anshika. I'm assuming you are uh, asking me about promotion on uh, the moderator uh, thing. If you're talking about social media promotion, then no. Arjun also is playing, it seems. He also has two and a half out of three. And uh, Tidal Tuesday has become ridiculously strong. 705 players are playing right now, out of which uh, one game is going on in round two between Big Fish against, uh, I'm not sure who exactly this is. Big Fish seems to have white. He has the rook, his opponent has the bishop. And at the leaderboard, there is Hikaru. Ali Reza, Dubo, Dennis Laswick, Wesley So, Duda, Andre Kin. Oh my god, the leaderboard is crazy. There is also Hayam Harshavardhan who is on 3 out of 3. Legend and unknown. And there are about 59 players who have 3 out of 3. I myself, I started with a draw. I was struggling all through in that first game. Not all through, I was uh, struggling at the beginning, more like I was struggling in between and then I managed to, with some very generous help from my opponent, my opponent I managed to get that somehow and make a draw. I think this is the last game of the third round. Oh, there's still one more game going on. There's still one more game going on where it seems like White could win this with a King G6 and Queen H5 checkmate. Hello Tarun. Oh, nice. Congratulations to Grandmaster Mamedo. No surprises on no. Mitraba finishing at the top there. He usually is at the top. Featured at the top. Yeah, black flags. Typical. It's very hard to play with uh, just one second. Cool. That's all the games in uh, round three. So, turning off the chat, let's go to round four where I'm playing against AGW 2016. And National Master. Seems like a lot of National Masters these days. Not a big fan of London against this G6 setup. So, going for the King's Indian Fianchetto. Yeah, I'm not a big fan of this variation either. It's a very solid map for a draw. For black. Let's keep ending this one. Let's go play B5 next. B3 later. Yeah, I should be able to meet B5 only with B3. Ah, no, I can't. Then he gets B4. So that's why my opponent is thinking because he's wondering why I played this. And uh, obviously, I didn't see this earlier. So I'm gonna have to pretend as if 
manage by pretending as if I saw everything coming earlier. After round 4, there's going to be a bit of an extended break, so... Somehow this seems to have worked out. The spawn is weak and uh, the rook can swing. Bishop f5 can be met with. Queen takes b5, I think. Otherwise, rook h4 and bishop h6 is also a pretty tempting idea. Cool. Somehow he managed to win the spawn. Since rook b8, we just count queen a4. I don't see any danger till now. So why not my Queen b6, bishop e3. Maybe my d4 is the Should be fine. Was the knight on beef I can be supported with? This feels like a. I'm not sure, it feels off to me. Does play knight b6. A5 was my intention, but somehow, yeah, I think A5 should be. Knight takes d5, and bishop takes f6. And uh, now takes an a6, how does he prevent? Is winning for me, right? Should be. Look, you want any signs? Doesn't lose for him yet, but uh, it should be a matter of time. for him. Yeah. Oh, this is the one one way I can lose. I think this is the simplest. I almost played King D3 there. That would have been sad. Devastating. Oh, I don't need to play it. 
the slow pace. It was a bit of a premature resignation by him. I think he could have played on for a while longer. I uh, don't see why he had to resign at that point. Meanwhile, chat, do hit that like button if you haven't. I'm pretty sure you have subscribed. The looking at the turnout, but yeah, do hit that like button. I think this was the uh, this was smooth game for most part. This rook b1 and b4 idea actually turned out to be uh, wow, knight b3. This is spectacular, spectacular stuff. But uh, what I played was quite logical, and uh, it seems like he shouldn't take c takes before. He should just wait with bishop d7 or bishop a6. That is not quite natural in a blitz game. So he took, and uh, we got a better position here. And uh, after we got a better position, feels like all the moves were wrong. Uh, decent for the most part this was a critical point where i just did not have time to evaluate and apparently he should have taken bishop takes up six i was intending a6 here ah he could just take rook b5 a7 there's rook a5 right yeah he could have just taken bishop and f6 i think we both got a bit confused here and uh, takes takes bishop d5 there's rook b5 after which he regains the pawn and it's equal so bishop takes b5 was a mistake and after this he's just lost i think i started playing very cautiously from this point onwards because black is so stuck here the rook is stuck the king can't uh, leave c7 without losing the d6 pawn and after taking bishop d5 e d5 king d3 king b7 rook takes d6 King a7, check and rook into f7. He could have played on here with rook a2, I think. It's it's still it's still uh, some work for me to convert here. It looks so totally winning for me, yes. But there is still quite a bit of work to convert, and I had only 26 seconds remaining. So yeah, he could have uh, uh, he could have played on. He probably should have played on. Would have, would have, should have. But in any case, 3 and a half out of 4 is one of the better scores we have at the end of 4 rounds in Tyrell Tuesday. Let's see how the big fishes are doing. Dubo with 4, Alidaza with 4, Leslie with 4, Hikaru with 4. There's no Magnus today, as is the custom in our I play. And uh, Andrekin has 4, Duda has 4. I think Magnus is on a vacation. AFAIK and on 3 and a half for uh, Arjun, does me. Oh, Magnus is here. Magnus is here and he also has 3 and a half. Why did he drop that half point? He also drew the first round. Oh my god. How much, how much does a person copy? This level of copying, this level of. Uh, Shadowing, it seems a bit too much. Aronian, uh, I didn't see Aronian. I saw Aronian. I think he also should be having three and a half. Yeah, it seems like all the big memes have three and a half points. I don't know how. I don't know what is this need to shadow me like this. Big Fish has only three though. There's Sahib Singh, who is quite talented. Grishuk. Etc. And God, Gotham Chess has three. So does Eric Rosson. So all the famous streamers on three points and all the top players on three and a half points. How much do I earn as a chess player? Well, as a chess player, I actually don't earn a lot of money. Because at my level, you spend more than what you earn. Let's let's have a look at the Tara speed. How things are going here. I'm 
not using analysis instead of RST. Somehow, I only see uh, the Tata Steel Masters in chess.com slash events. Are you guys following Tata Steel? It looks like Vidit has already drawn and Alirez has already drawn, drawn and there are three draws. Max Vomit has also drawn. Vidit drew against Jordan Van Forest. But the clash, the clash which we are looking forward to is the clash between Gukesh against Anish against Gukesh where Anish actually had a pretty big advantage when I last saw. Here also it seems like Anish is winning. He's at least winning this pawn. But Gukesh wants to take Bishop into e3 here. So maybe start with rook b3 but then black will play h4. Anish is better but he has quite a bit of task to convert. Now something like king f3 is natural because if black plays h4 then white can take, take. And after rook hits on check, white wins by fork. White wins the bishop. So something like king f3 is what uh, I guess white can play. But here black has this move king g8, bishop takes h5 and now e4 check. And Kukish is uh, like many players of his age group, this generation is fabulously good at defending uh, these uh, positions. Oh yeah, maybe I should let people know that uh, whenever chat is on, chat is off. So Anish is winning here, but it's quite a long way to convert and I wouldn't rule out Gukesh saving this. Now, there's this game between Nepomnishi and Donchenko where black is better. Donchenko is the winner of the previous Tata Steel challenges and through that he qualified to the Tata Steel Masters which is the same route through which Arjun qualified last year. That's how Arjun played last year. And uh, so far Donchenko has been a bit of a punching bag in this tournament but today he seems to be striking back. Now Nepo is also incredibly good in defending bad positions. He's just crazy the number of times he has saved these kind of bad positions. So let's see if he's able to pull it off against Donchenko. Now guys, if you're following the Tata Steel, do you know where we can follow the challenges where Divya is also playing? Ding should be able to hold this against Prague. It's 5 versus 4 but uh, not a lot for Prague to play with. Prague has pulled off magic against a lot of lower rated players. It's going to be difficult to do that against the world champion though. And Parham has also created a very very interesting uh, game with an exchange sacrifice. Where it feels like uh, fighters uh, I think White is doing fine, it looks to me. It doesn't look as bad as what the computer shows, at least on first sight to me. Because Black's King is also not totally secure here. But uh, computer shows King F7 here. The King is safer on the 7th rank. Because the Bishop on D5 is controlling uh, the White Rook's entry point on B7. And uh, here apparently white can take this pawn and is on time to come back after... Oh, after c3 there's just rook b7 check. So yeah, the position is just complex. I don't think it's better for black as the eval bar shows. It's complex and uh, more towards equal, I think. So these are the Tata Steel Masters games as it stands. Oh, okay. Anish has played King F1 and uh, Gukesh went H4. And now after G takes H4, I think Anish's advantage has increased crazily. He goes Bishop F6. The point is if White plays H5, maybe Black wants Bishop H4 now. But uh, this just looks really bad. And White can also play King G2 because this H4 pawn is uh, immune. After Rook H7 check, White wins this Bishop. And uh, yeah, he's forced to. 
is forced to play you can do that anshika can you can you show me how you do that how did you do that is it off no is it on no and how do i see divya's game on uh, chess.com/events when i go here i get this oh yeah meanwhile i need to stay on uh, they will start round 5 this the uh, title tuesday is very dangerous no huh? maybe they already started round 5 Have they already started round five? Yeah, and uh, I think I got timed out. <laughs> I got timed out. What stupid website? Seriously, what a stupid platform. What is wrong with? Oh God! As we were looking at Tata Steel games, and I was uh, lost with the chat. I guess that's why they want uh, people to switch off chat. Oh my game has started damn my game has started and i was not aware of it it was just not open please uh, turn off the chat anshika the game had just not opened Lost like thirty seconds Lost thirty seconds against Arjun, who is a flagger in normal circumstances. No need to say when he has a thirty second uh, odds. Take on e5 first, I think. I'm a piece of as of now. Need to be careful though. If he gets his rooks into the game, he can get some counter play. Set 
Delta only move. Yeah, it can get tricky. Start with Queen C6, but then I play Queen F3. So she's Knight G6, and then I take on. to be a bit careful here. Yeah, yeah, I can play rook f4. I can just take on Okay, now he's starting to get some point of view. The lack of time is beginning to hurt me. I should shut up and...
with time. What a tragic way to finish the movie. He does play fast though. Could be 15 moves any time. Anything was winning. How could I not win that position? I'm headed to the bottom of the bottle. I've been drowning, I've been floating away. Okay, let's get back here. Great position out of the opening. Problem, how are we? Delta. I need to carry them down. I'm trying to get myself back into this game but it's not easy and it doesn't help that my position is just bad here.
ripping on a mo less. Never stop, no rest till the stress is breath in my chest. Till it's diamonds wrapping my neck, progress to a god from a god. Best whole place, more tests. More bless, dug deep down, trying to find my best. Find a beast, had to kill a conquest, I'm next. I'm too long, I'm too long. Come down, take new thoughts, like jumping off of that rooftop. Yeah, I was sort of expecting him to take with the roof. Was I like intending to defend? Should have said this first. Maybe down two pawns, and I end up with the At least I get my bishop in jail. So I can chill. Like a solace. Ah, this is exactly what he was intending. But okay, look at it here. This makes it easier for us to draw, right? Still give me not King C7, switch it. Actually, good square for the queen. Looks wrong from him. Now, how do I explain it? Down square, back and back. Should be a draw.
Give me a hand. I think I'm losing this one. Stupid, stupid stupidity. It's again stupidly named. It was completely a draw. I just needed to bring my king here and so draw. It was so unnecessary. So totally unnecessary. Are we disconnected chat? Are we on? Is the stream on? I think uh, going on this delay must have uh, caused some internet issues. Am I on? Is the stream on? I think we are back. But uh, yeah, the 10 second delay is off. Uh, is the stream on, chat? I'm not even sure because of this delay. Because of the lack of chat. Karu has drawn one. Arjun seems to have won his next game. He has a stream back now. Arjun defeated Genghis Khan. Cool. We are on a 14 second delay right now because of that disconnection, but again, uh, as far as you are concerned, I'm not sure if there needs to be a delay. Meanwhile, chat, if you haven't, do hit the like button. And uh, I would say subscribe to the channel if you haven't. But uh, again, I, I'm pretty sure most of the people here must have subscribed. I think today's games have been uh, much better than usual for the most part. But... Uh, those last few seconds, uh, wow, checkmate. A lot of upsets these days. No? I, I've been uh, struggling a bit in these last few seconds. I should just stop talking and completely focus, I think. Okay, the next game has begun. Uh, let's disable the chat and continue. Standard position out of the opening. And she can't disable the chunk. Let's do it. Okay. 
talking about uh, this uh, being on chat i think it's there has been this restriction since uh, the previous year itself which is being a model it is an that play is something that does need to be uh, taken seriously not really uh, much of an edge for us but we can uh, play with this some small teething issues in uh, today's uh, stream i think it's either game quality or stream quality that's how my streaming journey has been been hard to get both Hikaru must be the only streamer in the world who's managed to have a bit of both such remarkable consistency I'm winning a pawn here do want this knight out alive i can do that with bishop b5 it that should be the direction he takes takes queen c4 then Knight d6 and knight f7 and knight f6. Ah, but we need we need to be careful. We need to be careful because this pawn could run, and uh, yeah, it's it's not clear. Should be a draw, I think. Because he comes king b5, king c4, and my king is not on top. Shot by one more. Okay, take the draw. But didn't didn't really seem like I had a big advantage. I think this was my chance. And uh, Bishop B5 was a bit questionable. I think A4 was a mistake. I played this too fast. Otherwise, I think I could have really uh, won this. This was a critical point. It was a good uh, tactic though. But yeah, he should have played Knight G4 check. This was better. Yeah, weak, weak game over on. Even if I lost all my money, does it run as deep running? 
turning on the chat again. Ali Reza is playing against Dula, both of them on 6 out of 6. Ali Reza had an early uh, draw today, I think, in Vike. He's playing out there. Just Bishop D3, Bishop C4 here should win. GG. Karu is white, I guess. He's beating uh, Dima and Rikki. Not sure if he's beating though. Seems very difficult to convert this. Bishop stays in this diagonal and he has no breaks. Magnus Carlsen is on fine huh? Wesley so has only five. Oh please, Kanshika. Gotham Chaz also has five out of seven. Shoot. I need to really pick my uh, pick myself. These guys play so fast. Uh, people like Hikaru and Arjun, they're just faster than the uh, typical player. So, their one second is just faster. How did Arjun do? He has 6 out of 7. He's won twice since. So fast. Yeah, I should get over that game. But I never had a chance to even know. Uh, Look at my blender. How was the game over? Eight point five percent. So I think I'm very much in the chronic coefficient. Imperfect play to the opening. Four apparently a good move. He just blended this, which is what triggered this whole thing. Apparently the advantage was not as big as I thought. The advantage was not as big as I thought and the next game has started. I'm playing against a streamer so let's get back to this one. And uh, it's time to turn off the chat. Going for an old, old line. This is not uh, in trend anymore. This is one of the most confusing variations for uh, people who have not seen this. You will see uh, Knight says it is not correct. I should have gone Queen C7. But at least it got him thinking, so that's a good thing. The problem with knight c6 though is uh, with queen c7, I had this option of knight d7 open. 
I'd say that they're tasty and wrong mood at all. You can just do it with green detail. Please, we got one point back. This is what I anticipated that you might do. I'm Queen C5. Here's a pop. Best chance of defending. Compromise. That is life. He's a bit on the attack. Good for him. Okay, I'm not going to trade queens of course my friend, but I'm open to seeing if you want to repeat. One queen c4 option. I seems okay with repeating. It's a bit surprising given how better he was for him. I mean all through the game. is kind of smart in figuring out that I'll probably look to try for more that way he can uh, have better chances of winning it's a smart approach this let's see Okay. 
Look on Queen C2 here. Now we are in for the draw. We are playing for a draw, but it's okay. You don't need to be careful. To draw after night of six check. Yeah, it's, it was close. Again, pretty suboptimal play from me. Right from the opening. Knight c6 was a mistake. Should have won queen c7. Knight c6 was just a bad, bad move. But this was fine, this position was fine after 9g6. But you know chat, in terms of losses, I think this is uh, the least amount of losses I have after 8 games. Which is kind of good I think. But all right, let's uh, turn on the chat again. Oh yeah, it's already turned on. I can trust Anishika to turn on the chat. It's only turning off that. Should probably do it myself. So the chat is on, and let's see what is going on first of all. And uh, this. Uh, Like so annoying that the homepage of chess.com slash events events is hidden somewhere down below. And here we have all the games. Where uh, first of all has a Anish won this. Anish is winning this. Anish is clearly winning this. The way he is also not doing bad. As I mentioned earlier, his position was not bad against Parham. And also, Parham uh, is in a bit of a danger uh, situation because. Invite when things go wrong, you need to be really careful. Prague also seems to have a massive chance of winning. He's doing amazing here. Epo 
How is Nepo doing? Nepo is struggling a bit. Let's have a look at challenges. This is Masters. Here in the drop down is Challengers where uh, Heine Latasha has won against Heline. Kurobo beat Andrea. Harika drew against Liam Rulik. And uh, Leon is beating uh, Erwin, it seems. Leon is better because he has these two minor pieces for a rook. And uh, apart from that, uh, it seems like this knight is under pin now. But first of all, the g5 pawn is under pin. And after knight g3, this rook on f5 has to move away from f5, which gives white uh, some. Uh, which just basically gives white a substantial advantage. Knight g3, the rook has to move away. And then the white knight can come back and reorganize white's uh, pieces. Divya is also struggling because of massive positional weaknesses on her camp. e6 is a weakness. These pawns are uh, not great. The head seven bishop is imprisoned. And... Uh, these are the updates on the Indian games, basically. Gukesh is losing in the Masters, Prag is winning. And out here on Title Tuesday... I don't know... Uh, I don't even feel so motivated to finish this tournament now. But I guess I should probably do it, because... Uh, Arjun lost by the way, the 8th round, so someone avenged my defeat. Ah, Sanal Wahab defeated him. Magnus Carlsen is also on 6 out of 8. I have only 5 out of 8. How is Arshur then doing? Arshur then lost against Bukido and uh, Swane. But he beat Grischuk, so he's not doing bad. Chat, this is probably going to be the last time that uh, the chat is going to be open before the next round. And once the next round starts, there's not going to be a lot of time. There's a 16 second delay by the way, it's 10 seconds but due to the couple of disconnections, Prano has only 5 out of 8. Wow. Prano lost a couple of games. Yes, in other news, Indoor uh, got over today and uh, I think Boris Shevchenko was the winner. The second place was... I don't remember, the, there is a boy called Gautam Krishna who is doing really well in recent times. Okay guys, the game has started, I think. The game has not started. I heard, I heard this. Yeah, the game has started. So chat, please uh, disable Anshika. <coughs> Lingo. Someone from Israel who allows me to play my upcoming course. Do we go Bishop E7 here or Bishop E6? Does it matter? It's almost the same. Now we go if I go. Queen moves away from the D5. To protect against night season. Yeah, I think here even uh, sacrificing the exchange usually is not a bad option. It's 
great fun though. Beautifully night before. Which should be the move, I think. Sus, the way he's playing. He's playing fast, but sus. I'm playing slow because I was trying to remember the opening, which is actually one of the common mistakes in English. So far we are fine though, just a bit low on time. Blitz, so it's not just a bit low on top, it's the thing. I don't need to play a bit faster. Right into it. The, the icing on the cake is it comes with a check. Still, the position is not uh, clear. I mean, it is winning for me, but it's not that clear. Not your typical queen of queen positions.
Okay, I think most of the problems are solved. Okay, Let's come to the check. Yeah, all clear. Spectre clear. So totally unnecessary. Really. That's the coup degress and six out of nine. First win out of three more. But the others doing madness is one. Ritwik is playing with six and a half out of nine. Actually, struggling. Losing. Thank you, Anshika. Gautam also has six out of nine. I'm not hoping that I uh, play against him in one of the games too. Wow, Big Fish has got eight out of nine. Not bad, and so has Sanal Wahab. Sanal Wahab is also doing well. He's beaten uh, quite a few good players. He lost against Firoja, but he's done well since. What is Sanal Wahab's rating? Yeah, the next game has begun. Let's go chat. Let's go. We'll go nine of three. Three C four. Anshka, turn off the chat. Shift G two. We take. Nazul. D four. Just strengthening the D4 point. The other thing, right? We play Z5, I guess. We'll fight. We can have the theory here. Just go B3. Here, yeah, black has no problem. It's a problem. It's pretty. Uh, Safe position for that. Very easy for him to play. It'll be difficult to get much here. Get our pieces out. Inside, after which we are in trouble. This is already better for white, though, for black. It seems very difficult to 
see how we defend against our opening J4. We need to escape that. A4, the idea is to play bishop c5. He could take ab though. Maybe that is his intention. It's not clear. Now I have the option to take knight takes a4, which I probably should. Because otherwise, I'm just down a pawn. Here he can continue with b5, but after bishop takes c6, the position is unclear. Pretty sure we are not losing there though. If he takes knight takes c5, how do you want to recapture his also? Important question to be answered. Probably with the rook. Probably need to capture with the rook. Come back, rook c2 next. And go to c5. It's not like a better position, though. Man. We are a pawn of it. We have these pawn of bishops. So it's about equal. Rook d2 is safer. Equal way to trade. on this guy though it's a b3 pawn so we can uh, neglect it a bit b3 pawn is a part of our population which is not that important but bishop f5 even knight takes this one is pretty interesting further improve our position. Just waiting. Rook D8 was also something I had to consider. But he had king f7. So this is fine I think. Two threats. Knight B6. takes then I recapture. We are lose knight b6, doesn't mind it seems. b6 equals rook b8, oops, knight b8. Just this way, just take and play rook b7 check. So second pawn and this is also oops, we have to default. So GG. Hit seven out of ten. Almost there, almost there. Now this has to be the most serious title Tuesday I have played in a long time. 
although in terms of points it's not that great 7 out of 10 it's not bad also it's not that great also but uh, certainly i wanted to test my strength out in this title tuesday and i think it's mostly been decent a bit rusty for sure especially in the last 10 seconds which is understandable considering that a uh, lack of practice it's just a human thing but in terms of the general chess i think it's been uh, one of the better title tuesdays that i have played Yeah, this is going to be a draw. MVL against Hikaru. Hikaru is just too fast. Thank you, Anshika. Big fish against Ali Reza. Crazy situation. Crazy time scramble. Should be a draw, I think. One... Oh, that's a blender. But I think this still should be a draw. White who's under? No, it's a draw. Check, check, and draw. No, but he can play with King E2. He can continue on. Yeah, he's winning this one. So Big Fish goes to 9 out of 10. Black and now. Black and try for more. For some reason, I'm lagging. My computer is lagging a lot. I don't know why. What? How did that happen? Oh, it's a mouse slip. Rook C3 check. Rook C4 check. Mostly. Sad. Yeah, Ali Reza had an early game today. By the way, chat, now that you have me here, uh, what are your guesses on my next tournament? What do you think is going to be my next event? By the way, Prag is beating the world champion one more time, chat. How crazy is this? Beating uh, Ding 2 out of 2. With Black. Two consecutive times in Vikanze. How crazy is that? Seriously. Yeah, this will be top. What is Sanal Wahab's rating though? Not Sanalva. Yeah, I have decided already. Just not revealable uh, as yet. But guesses can be made. Doesn't it seem like I'm preparing for uh, something today? Magnus is shadowing me like crazy. This level of stalker obsession, I don't know. Just because I'm on 7 out of 10. Oh my god. It's been such a... I made some draws today just to throw him off the trail, but he's just very persistent. I started with draw, he started with draw. He won the next 3, I won the next 3. Then he lost. I made a draw, I threw him off. Okay guys, let's play the last round. Anshika chat off. And let's finish this off. I'm playing Sam Sevian.
normal move so far i think take this one left her body and hovered above me i saw no shadow i looked around such that we could sing and home the afar i saw no shadow but felt the glow the warmth inside me kept me afloat felt like heaven i found my bones give me comfort when nothing will allow you god done a bit of development I don't want to casual but I don't know when I'll get a chance Where is he going after G5? He has 90 tokens. Still, it seems like an awkward place to go to. It's what he wants. Completely done. No harm ever came from developing your pieces. It's an old uh, saying. So I expected I wanted to come back like this so I can eat his steaks with G5 of my own. This is interesting. Why can't I just take the pawn? So he just wants to develop, is it? the way he's playing. Knight g4, the problem is there's bishop c4. longer than I should have. I'm 
going to shut up and just focus. How can I lose that? I don't know. It's crazy. Stupid, stupid play by me. I could just take the piece here. No, oh my God. I could just take the piece here. Such a nice game till that point. Panic. I don't know why I just didn't take this. Could take this. Oh my god. Night of six was uh, that panic moment when I really lost control. Should have been a much better title, Tuesday. Okay, next time we'll do much better in the last 10 seconds. Now I gotta go back to recording videos. There's still uh, some recording to complete. So that's that chat. 7 out of line, 11, a much better title Tuesday, but not with the results to show. But yeah, I'm not hanging around a lot because uh, there's still some recording to complete. Thank you so much for tuning in. This was uh, fun actually. I was playing really seriously this time. And uh, not a lot of engagement with the chat. But uh, that's just the new streaming with the new fair play rules. Alright chat. Thank you so much for tuning in. And... Uh, Hey, hey, Mr. Deathwin. I'm sorry I'm not hanging around a lot because it's quite late, 11.42 and I have a couple of hours of recording more to do. So, thank you so much, chat. See you. Bye-bye. And that's the final standings. MVL has won. Jospam is second and Big Fish is third. Chalo, chat. Bye-bye. Thank you.